Hi, Rob Linhart in the Hazel's Wine Department. Here we go with Sunday Wines for October 13th. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back. We're going to start with a new vintage of a wine we've run many times. This is the 2018 Los Cardos Malbec from Doña Paula. This is a really easy drinking, fruit forward, super fresh style of Malbec. Not a lot of oak influence here, not a lot of grip on the finish. This is just a light-ish, really easy drinking all around Malbec for every day. Coming over to California now, this is the 2017 Pedroncelli Signature Selection Chardonnay. This is coming out of Dry Creek Valley in Sonoma. A very balanced California style. Not a lot of oak here. Uh, it's got a little bit of lees to put some creaminess, a nice round full attack on this wine. Really fresh red apple, a little bit of preserved lemon laying on top of this wine. For that nice round attack, you're gonna get a lovely crisp dry finish. Really balanced, very well made everyday Chardonnay. Sticking with the whites now, we're gonna move over to Spain. We're going to Rueda. West Central Spain, this is the 2017 Egeo Verdejo. For those of you who don't know this grape, very popular grape, very successful in Spain. If you're looking to explore some whites, you're gonna wanna check this out. This is gonna bring a really nice herbal component to this wine, very fresh citrus, think grapefruit, nice mineral element. And Verdejo for me always brings a little bit of a nice kind of plum blossom floral element on the finish. They always finish great. If you're not familiar with this grape again, I highly suggest you check it out. Great everyday white. We're heading to the east coast of Italy now. We're going to Abruzzo. This is the 2016 Osonia Apollo Trebbiano d'Abruzzo. Now this is not the Trebbiano that we get from Tuscany, which can be a little neutral, a little unexciting. There's a lot going on in this bottle. This one, a bit like the Egeo, opens up with a really strong herbal component. Think thyme, rosemary. Then it's gonna move into some lovely fresh fruit. Believe it or not, I'm thinking maraschino cherry here, little bit of that sort of cherry truffle, delicious fruit, great tangy finish, nice acidity in this wine, good dry finish. Another wine, if you're not familiar with this grape, if you're not familiar with this region, I highly suggest you check it out. You're gonna really like this wine. Staying in Abruzzo now, same producer. We're in Montepulciano, this is the 2016 Osonia Apollo. This is Colina Termane. It's a very specific area in Montepulciano. And this wine is not your everyday Montepulciano. Requirements here are for some oak treatment and it shows. This is deep, rich, full body Montepulciano. Great complexity, beautiful dark fruits, layers of licorice, even a little figgy note to this. The oak on this wine definitely brings a bit of grip on the finish. This is gonna be a food Montepulciano, not strictly a porch pounder, but for you serious Montepulciano drinkers, this is a serious red. Back to California we go now. We've got two terrific Pinot Noir from a great producer. These are 2015 Ant Hill Farms Pinot Noir. Slightly different takes on this grape. The first one, Anderson Valley, we're up in Mendocino. This is a light, fresh, really bright red fruited style here. A Little bit of a tropical note to this wine. Think blood orange, a little bit of orange peel going on in this wine. For an everyday Pinot, this is a really well made, very great Pinot. Stepping up a bit now, this is the 2015 Comchi Vineyard. This is a single vineyard also from Mendocino. This is a much fuller, darker, deeper wine. Bit of new oak here, but it's really well integrated. You're not really gonna pick up the oak influence here, but we're getting a much rounder, much fuller experience. Bigger structure in this wine, possibly a little bit of whole cluster as well, so you'll get a little bit of grip on the finish as well. This is a terrific, all around great, deep Pinot for you serious Pinot drinkers. A can't miss deal on a great Northern California wine. That's the full lineup. We've got a great lineup this week for you. As always, I'll see you on Sunday. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back.